All right, so this is my 2015 Prius. Uh, it's a plug-in. I did. I bought this vehicle used with uh, no charger. Unfortunately, I don't have a charger, but I do have some EV range right here. This EV button. I'm going eco mode. I'm going in straight EV mode, right? So what I can do here is if you don't have a charger or if you have a low EV battery or something like that, if you have a plug-in like I do and you have no battery for it, what you want to do is you want to turn off as many accessories as you can. As you, as I, as you can see here, my seat heaters are off. I always leave mine on high because I love toasty buns. All right, so AC is off. Make sure you hit this button so then you can still breathe if you uh, keep your windows open. So this display here, if uh, if you turn if you turn it off like this, this is how you turn it off. You go to settings, display, and screen off. Your radio or your Bluetooth will still be on. It'll pop up on and off. Well, just on the top bar right here. So what you want to do is if you want to charge the car real quick and real easy or very efficiently without a, without a charger what you do is you put it in drive you want to have it in power mode power mode eco to power like that uh, turn off as many accessories as you can like I said I love high, having that on the high what you want to do is AC off screen off you have any random lights on you should probably turn them off because it's gonna drain not the not the hybrid battery but the physical battery itself that's supposed to be user replaceable so what you also want to do is if you want to really save power here this will make a very slight like a third difference probably what you want to do is there's this little switch right here what you want to do is you want to go to running mode or running light mode that allows you to change the brightness of all the backlighting on the buttons or to uh, turn off the backlight on this display it'll most likely black it out except for the gear shifting and the uh, power button and the ready well the ready is always on but it's just a little bit toned down so what you want to do is drive screen off radio off comfort or oh, seat heating off and lights off lights off if you can if you have your screen off your radio still work it's not gonna officially turn off it's just like it's like your smartphone like when you hit the power button and so you can go into settings display and then off the screen well if you touch the screen it won't do anything if you want to turn it back on you just hit the power and it does that but yeah for this i'm gonna turn off the screen put it in drive outside air mode I mean like it's very passive airflow it does not use any it does not use the fan at all passive airflow that's nice so I actually want the screen just uh, I'm gonna brighten it up so then you guys can see it so uh, what you want to do is you want to drive you want to drive in power mode now I have two I have two miles range but you want to drive in power mode because you want to be able to surpass that line. Pretty sure you guys can't see it because uh, the screen updates. But you want to surpass that line, get the EV light to turn off while you're driving. Oh man, this is a bumpy street. I hate the street. And you want to brake. And you want to fill up three quarters to a uh, majority of the bar as much as you can this uh, little charge indicator so what it's supposed to do is charge it really quickly you know so you see out of that drive i got two point i got 0.3 miles out of that just going down the street if you really want to charge this battery up you will have to speed just a little bit and then hit the brakes oh man that was a dip right there but yeah, this uh, this is a very effective way to charge a car. I got another 0.4 right there. I got another 0.1 right there, just from driving. It's that simple. You just gotta drive hard, brake, make sure you you stay within the charge line as much as you can. Stay a little bit past 75%. Uh, 
if you can or if you don't or usually you don't have to or charge by itself a good majority AC off passive air so I can breathe you see heaters off uh, and most likely want to see the screen because I mean I show you how to darken it up but you want to see the screen you so then you can charge a car up all right so that is how you charge a plug-in Prius or a Prius that's um, mostly depleted if your car has some good if your car has a little bit of gas I recommend you to just drive normal because you'll save probably a little bit more gas this way to uh to drive in eco mode and not do a charge but if you want to really charge up that ev you just just watch this video watch it over again if you need to it's a fun car by the way a fun and very exciting car most people take this car for granted but honestly with some with some ingenuity it'll be charging this car easily no time So here's an empty street, a little bit more. It's a little bit more smoother, but this is a going downhill street. So like, if you're going downhill, you should just you should just speed a little bit. Make sure you like do some in your head math. Just to make this right, if you want to really, really charge this battery up, what you use is you take this shifter while you're in drive, you go in B mode. It's essentially an engine brake, but you see how this EV light disappeared, right? The engine is running until you go back to drive mode. And yes, it does that. This is like uh, this is like uh, when you put a Honda Civic in a high gear and then you like uh most likely will make the engine spin up for engine braking. This B stands for battery and engine braking. But this effectively charges the car just a little bit harder. I have a clear path. Allow me to do that. As you can see, short drive, this actually works. If you have a plug-in hybrid with no charger, this definitely works if you have like a aftermarket uh aftermarket uh hybrid battery system with a plug-in but you don't have a plug or you don't have anywhere to charge it this is your method right here it works just fine it works really really well what you want to do is put it out of drive when you're just cruising down the street and not trying to charge a car but look i got i like i got three miles of full ev here so this is a very good this is a very good way to charge your car works very easily i'm gonna get like three miles right now i brake harder again just past this old lady here just looking at me stupid But yeah, this uh, you you will use up some uh, electricity here, cause uh, cause uh, the transaxle system uses uh, the motors as a, as the shifter, as the gears, cause this is a CVT after all. But the CVT is uh, electronic and it uses the motors. So three three point oh three point oh miles. So yeah, this actually works. Try this out for yourself. AC off, heater off, lights off, screen off if you can. Screen doesn't make that much of a difference, but I have it off anyways. It's for a pure efficiency. Try it yourself. Maybe try it with one of those Honda Clarities or uh, Ford Focus EVs. It might work that way, but it might have a slightly more different uh, approach. But yeah, go ahead, try everything I listen in the video. If it doesn't have a power mode, or as a normal mode, just, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The power mode is just so then you can pass the line here to uh, to stop using so much EV electricity. So then you can just simply uh, simply charge the battery. Yeah, I got a nice straight right here. And if I use this B mode here, which I shifted right now, 
and it actually slows the car down just a little bit harder and it just charges it just a little bit better and look at that 3.2 just from a um, just from a quarter of a mile drive it's a good and effective way to charge if you have a low battery go ahead try it yourself I'm ending that video now